today we are doing our end of the project critique. But that doesn't mean that after this critique, if you get some good feedback, that you can't still change things. So I am going to give everybody some time on Monday. Uh, if, you, if there is some of the stuff that people are saying about your artwork that you, you like their ideas and you want to use those ideas, you can jot them down on the second page and I will give you time on Monday to make those changes. I would like you to get out your three blue squares. On one square, I want you to draw one star. On another square, I would like you to draw two stars. And then on the third square, how many stars? Three. Three Four. stars. So before anything, I'm going to give you guys the next five minutes to take a look at all of the portraits that are up here. I want you to choose your top three. On your most favorite, I want you to put the one star. On your second favorite, I want you to put the two star. And on your third favorite, I want you to put the three star. <laughs> together. Did they use the right proportions for their um, facial features? There's actually two vocabulary words I purposely left off. We used them so much while we were making these. Can anybody think of one? As you were working, we would hold up the work and you'd take five steps back and we would look for these two things. Can anyone think of one of them? LT. Balance. Balance. Very good. So does it have balance? And what was the other word? Who can remember the other word? Look at wands. Yes, Kasia. Contrast. Contrast, very good. Kasia, what does contrast mean? Um, when you have two very different like shades or tints that contrast each other and make each other look better. Very good. So like the difference between light and dark, having a, like a light tint and a shade right next to each other. Make sure that you are being specific. Prove that you know what the word contrast means when you are talking about contrast. On the front. You are going to choose, you're going to write about your most successful, and you've already picked that one out, so that's good. Then you, you think that this one is also successful because, and then moving on to the back is, I think that number blank could improve their work by, and I want you to also be specific here, and then choose another one that could improve their work by, and then, um, Save these last two, we're going to have a discussion at the end, and that is where you can take notes. If someone talks about yours, or somebody talks, if yours maybe isn't hanging, if they talk about one that's similar to yours and you want to change it, this is where you would write your notes of what you would change if you decide to change anything on Monday. If you would like to change their stars, you are able to battle and just ask me. The, sh the shadow or the shade is on the face and where the tint is on the face. Like right here in her jawline and then over here towards her eyes, how it gets lighter. I pick number 17 as my top most successful because I really like how she blended her dots and when you first look at the picture, it looks like 
aesthetically pleasing. As you can tell, it kind of doesn't look like like a drawing more of a picture because everything looks symmetrical and it looks very real life. This baby. My favorite was number four, and I said that his picture overall is very aesthetically pleasing because he includes a lot of balance and contrast. The dark parts of his hair contrast the light parts of his hair, and also the dark parts of his hair balance out the dark eyebrows, eyes, and glasses. Very good, Bailey. I know, that was amazing. So let's move on to pieces that you think need improvement. With the whole like comic book look, I thought that um, he could have done a better job of proportioning his face better because his eyes are too high up and they're also too big. And um, being more distinguished with his light, with his lining because like the top of his head, like his hair, it just kind of suddenly ends because the dots are so light. So maybe making a little bit of an, of an outline so you can see where his hair ends and um, on his shirt too because it just looks like the collar's there. Like there's no like little V that goes down because usually with collared shirts that's what happens. So I want, would like you guys to take the last about two to three minutes to answer the very last question and also jot down some notes if we talked about yours and if there are, or if you just realize, hey, that person did something that I did in mine as well, I would like to improve it. So take those notes because you guys are going to save these and be able to take these notes back out at the beginning of class on Monday and I'm going to give you time to make the improvements that you think you need to make. You do not have to change anything about your portrait if you don't want to, but I think that there was some really great advice given today by your classmates, so just take some time to sort of reflect overall how do you think that you did, and um, if you are going to take any of the ideas that your classmates have given you. For more information, visit hitechhigh.org.